like, comment, and subscribe for more content. What's cooking? Good looking. Welcome back to the channel. So, by the time you guys have watched this video, Terry Bogard should be in Street Fighter 6 already, right? And I know this is a huge deal. We're all excited. This is a monumental occasion. Street Fighter's very first actual crossover guest character. And no, Final Fight and Rival School characters do not count, because those games are owned by Capcom. Okay? Nigh a business decision was made in either of those cases, okay? But you know what? As big of a deal as this is, it still feels like we're missing some content, right? I know I'm not the only one. Um, it feels like the content rollout for Street Fighter VI is like a snail's pace. It's super slow, right? Dude, Street Fighter V, we would get a character every like month and a half, and we would get like costumes to like tide us over, right? Street Fighter VI, we're not, unfortunately, we're not that lucky, you know? We're not even getting the dumb avatar costumes uh, at the uh, the rate that we were getting before, you know? So I wanted to take a moment. Um, I want to talk about costume number four, right? Because we got costume number three at the end of last year, you know? And we're nine months into this year. And we do not have any new costumes for our characters, you know? So I just wanted to take a quick minute and look at, you know, some concepts, right? Look at some potential costumes that we can get for our, for our characters, right? Because, dude, we need some kind of content. Terry is cool, right? But, like, you know, I don't... It feels wrong asking for more, but that would be nice. Um, but before we look at these, uh, these concept arts, do me a favor, guys. Leave a like. Subscribe. I would appreciate that. Um, dude, we're dangerously close to a thousand subs. So, help your boy out. I would appreciate that. But first, I want to talk about this right here. This is Luke's arcade mode ending uh, artwork, basically, right? And Sean is standing off to the side right here. Everybody say hi to Sean. Um, I was making a video about Sean a couple, maybe a week or so ago. And I kept staring at this Luke artwork, right? And I'm like, man, this would be pretty cool as an alternate costume, right? So we're gonna start here, right? This, this is gonna be our baseline, our, our starting point, right? And this costume isn't anything crazy, right? It's basically just Luke with his shirt off, so you can see his tattoos, right? Um, and also he's wearing a sweatband, right? It's simple, it's kinda cool, I like it, you know? I like Luke's default design. By the way, I am a Luke apologist, right? I know a lot of people are still anti-Luke. I love Luke. <laughs> I love Luke a lot. He's one of my favorite Street Fighter characters. I think this would be a good, uh, you know, a pretty cool costume for him, honestly. Right, the sweatband on, right? This looks like he's, you know, this boy's about to fight, you know? His default is cool and all, but also it looks like, you know, as the, you know, the combat coach, this is combat coach attire, right? This is this dude getting serious. He's about to throw down. He put the sweatband on. He's prepared to, to, what is the word for sweat? Perspire. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that's our first costume. The second costume, I want to talk about Rashid, right? So we're going to look at this Rashid concept art. Rashid's concepts are insane. <laughs> Can we just look at them for a second, right? I'm partial to this one, bottom row, with the, uh, the superhero, you know, the Kamen Rider helmet on, right? Rashid, he exudes a lot of that, you know, that Sentai energy, you know? Uh, even in Street Fighter V, I felt like they were trying to give Rashid a bunch of like superhero themed costumes, right? He was the uh, the hero character of that game. A lot of people don't know that because a lot of people didn't play the story mode. But Ryu and Rashid are the two main heroes of that that game story. So I like this costume right here with the helmet, but like two costumes to the side of it on the right, there's this other costume with all the green on. I feel like that costume with that helmet. Oh, dude, that would be sick, right? That's a that's a costume that I would I would pay money for, honestly, right? So, moving on from Rashid, we got my boy Guile, right? And Guile costumes, it's not it's not too difficult to make Guile look good, you know. As long as he has the flat top hair and you know it looks like Guile, then you know what we're cooking. We're in there, right? Um, me personally, I like the one all the way to the right with the fl uh, the flight 
jacket on, you know, the bomber jacket, I think it looks sick, you know? So, moving on from Guile, move it on, let's talk about Zangief, right? Dude, I'm, these classic characters, I'm just gonna fly through these, you know? So Zangief is interesting, because like Luke, he has a costume in the game <laughs> that we've we've already seen. It's not concept art or anything. And it's the Geef mask, right? I don't know why they ditched this mask immediately into the world tour mode, right? But like when you first meet Geef in the world tour mode, he's wearing the Geef mask, right? And uh, when they introduce him, he takes it off, right? I don't know why they did that. The Geef mask is so sick, right? Um, I would, for, you know, costume-wise, I would have the Geef mask with this costume right here, the, the main one on the left side, right? You know, just to give it some substance. But honestly, man, I feel like Zangief's default should have been the Geef mask. I just think it's sick, you know? Um, anyway, that's enough about Geef. Like I said, these classic characters, I'm trying to spend too much time on them because there's some really cool stuff at the end of this that I want to get to. So we're gonna move on to Cammy, and Cammy, like Guile, it's not hard to make her look good, right? I think Street Fighter VI, they cracked the code. They realized that, you know, oh, we don't need her butt cheeks out 24 seven, right? Actually, Cammy, she's just hot, right? She has a nice body, so we can like put clothes on her, you know, to further extenuate that, right? And I don't know, dude, all these look pretty good. Um, I'm partial to the, the main one on the left, right, with the, the rain jacket. I don't know why. It looks kind of cool. And uh, the one on the far right, right? I know her butt cheeks are out. I know. I get it. But, like, it just looks good, you know? So, moving on from Cammy, we're going to Chun-Li, right? Chun-Li has some crazy designs, dude. But this one right here, though, this one right here, though. Also, the one on the left is cool too, but this one right here, I just, the, I, it does something to me, man. I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know what the deal is, but I like it a lot, you know? Um, moving on from Chun-Li, we're gonna talk about Ken, right? And there's this one right here where he has like the trucker hat on, right? Because, you know, of course, Street Fighter VI, it's Ken's like hobo era, right? It's Ken's working man era. He's not a billionaire playboy anymore, right? He's, you know, a dude, he's working on a construction site, he's getting his hands dirty, right? He's a, he's a working man now, he got the blue collar on, right? So I think the uh, the flannel with the uh, the trucker hat, right? Uh, dude, I think <laughs> for this era of Kid Masters, this is perfect, right? I think this would, <laughs> this would be incredibly cool, actually. So, moving on from Ken, we're going to talk about his boy, Ryu, and uh, just... First, I want to lay down some ground rules for Ryu. If he does not have his beard, that is unacceptable, right? No facial hair, me no care, okay? That's the that's the rule. Uh, bottom row, the first one, right? He has, uh, he kind of looks like a ninja, but not really. Um, he's wearing his gi, but like he has the leg wraps on, which kind of adds something to it. I think that looks kind of cool. Also, he has the hand on the inside of the, the gi, right? You could tell Ryu, he's relaxed right here, right? I like this a lot, right? Of course, he would put his hand back through the uh, the sleeve when it's time to fight. But still, I, it just, it looks cool, right? I love the vibe that that outfit is giving off, you know? All right, so now we're going to get a little dangerous, right? This is what I really wanted to talk about here, right? We're going to start with Aki, right? We're going to start with Aki. Aki is a new character. So there's not a ton of concept art for her, you know, potential outfits, right? Most of her concept art is just for the character itself, right? Like, what is this lady going to look like, you know? Um, bottom row, the, what is that, the third on the bottom row, the one with the white hair, she has these two jars on her legs, right, where she's dipping her hands into the poison, right? Dude, this one is so cool, just on a, you know, just conceptually, on a concept level, I, I love this, right? Of course, we know that Aki, she has her little, you know, her finger stabbers, right? So she doesn't need to dip her hands in the poison. But, like, I don't know. Maybe she does, you know? Um, I don't want to 
I don't want them to add any extra animations to this costume if they put this in the game, but like it would be cool to have, right? This one and also the top right, uh, the one with the red hair, you know, hey, just change your hair to the white hair, right? But this costume though, the costume looks good, right? All right, so now that we got Aki out of the way, I thought that was gonna take longer. We, we got that out of the way faster than I expected, right? I, I was able to condense my thoughts quicker than I anticipated. Now we got M. Bison. Bison is interesting because he's back from the dead, right? So at one point, you can see in this concept art, this is insane, okay? <laughs> that Luke alternate costume and this concept art is the whole reason why I'm making this video, right? Because like this blows my mind right here, right? These are all versions of Bison that we were potentially gonna get before they decided, you know, hey, you know what? We're gonna bring Bison back from the dead, you know, in his original body. The original body that he died in, he's gonna come back in that body, right? Which is interesting, right? Because that's not where we thought Bison, you know, his story was gonna go. We thought he was gonna come back from the dead and take over someone else's body, right? So, you know, they swerved us there. But honestly though, I kind of wish they went with the original uh, concept. Look at this, right? My favorite in particular is Red Boy Bison on the bottom. Dude, this is the sickest design ever. I would have mained Bison immediately if this was his default costume, right? And you know what? Um, I know we're talking about costume number four, but I just realized Bison's a season two character, so he doesn't even have his costume number three yet. You know, the only costume for Bison we have so far is his classic costume, you know? Dude, what if all of his other costumes, costume number three, costume number four, it could be one of these or like a variation of one of these, right? Like, you know, they can be, you know, the costume could be, you know, a different body for Bison, right? Of course, you know, keep the proportions and everything. But Red Boy Bison would be so cool, man. Oh my god, I can't stop looking at this, man. Um, I also really like the one all the way to the right. Well, I like all of these. But all the way to the right, you have like this like Bane version, right? Where he's like really skinny, he has the white hair. But when it's time to fight, he buffs himself out with the, uh, the psycho power, right? So he gets all jacked. I like that one a lot, too. But if I had to pick one of these for Bison's, you know, his upcoming costumes, I want Red Boy Bison, you know? So, those are all the character concept arts that we're going to look at today. Um, what do you guys think? Out of all these that we've looked at, including the ones that I have not talked about, maybe I flash it on screen for a second, but I talked about another costume that's like next to it. Uh, out of all these, which ones do you guys like? Let me know in the comment section below. I am genuinely curious. And uh, yeah, guys, that's the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.